Give the floor to the defense counsel to proceed from where we left off before the adjournment. We would like to announce the decision in relation to communicate the decision of the chamber. Application de la demande put before the court by the presenté defense uh, the civil party lawyer la coavocate du groupe des partis civils in relation to these documents and that the documents are now considered put before the court nous considérons que les documents ont été produits au débat and in relation to another document, I would like to judge a civil contract. I would like to give the floor to Mr. Cartwright to ask the question of clarification. Thank you, Mr. President. Could the AV unit put the English version of D25-5-5 on screen, please? To affix the document figurant la cote D25 barre de fraction 5 barre de fraction 5 Thank you. Uh, could the witness look at that list uh, and then scroll down, please, to the second page? I have two questions to the witness. The first is, did you prepare that list? Response. Response. No, I didn't, Your Honor. Je n'ai pas établi cette liste, Madame la Juge. Do you, are you able to tell the Chamber what the words pause slash suspend mean in the right-hand column alongside prisoner number ten? Signifie Lorsqu'on arrive euh, au prisonnier, euh, au nom du prisonnier, à côté duquel figure le chiffre 10. Le président. Uh, le président. We note that uh, the oh. counsel for the witness is on his feet. Uh, Mr. Kong on. Since the document is available only in English, I'm afraid uh, the witness may not be able to shed any light on that document. Uh, so would the Khmer version of the document be put on the screen instead, Your Honor? Ms. Studensky, can you give me the number of the Khmer document, please? Yes, I will do so. I'm sorry uh, being late, but I heard uh, uh, 320. I give you now the ERN, uh, that is um, 0018 um, <coughs> The AV unit is now instructed to put a document 
That's not the correct number. It's zero zero one eight 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 seven seven. Zero zero one eight 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 seven seven. Yeah, what me a day? The president, uh, the AV unit. Could you please advise the chamber whether you can access to their document or not? Please, document uh, zero zero. One eight de sa capacité d'accéder à ce document. Eight eight seventy seven through zero zero one eight 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 seven eight. Set please put it on the screen. Si vous voulez bien afficher ce document à l'écran. Thank you. Could you scroll down to the next page, please? Yes, that page. In the far right column, alongside prisoner number 10, are you able to read the words written there? Numéro 10, est-ce que vous êtes en mesure de lire les lettres qui sont à poser Oui. Response. Réponse. It was the document I wrote. Il s'agit d'un document que j'ai écrit. So you have written this document. Donc vous avez écrit ce document. And are you able to tell the chamber what the words? in the far right column say against prisoner number 10 à quoi ces termes correspondent no kangdam response réponse i could read that the word is postponed dire que les mots alors des mots Thank you. Reporter. What does that word mean then in relation to this prisoner? Terme à ce moment-là par rapport à ce prisonnier. Kempo. Response. Réponse. So far as I remember, although it is not clear, but uh, the term postponed, uh, I may. Guess that uh, it was Ho who asked me to 
note down that term, the term postponed, which suggests that uh, interrogation should be postponed. Thank you. Uh, the AV unit can return the screen to normal, please. And Mr. President, uh, this document, ERN 0018877 to 0018878, is put before the chamber. Que ce document soit produit au débat. President, uh, next, uh, we would like to give the floor to the Defense Council to put uh, the rest of his questions to the witness. Et à à poser des at present, Monsieur when you think back of your work at S21, what, did you, what do you think of the work that you did at S21 at the time? Pendant cette période. I would like to say that the work that I did at S21 was under the order instruction from the upper echelon. Whatever I was ordered, then I would need to perform it. If I did not do it, I would be punished. Thank you, say Kassabut. So, even at present, do you regret? of your participation in taking the innocent people to be smashed. Response. At present, I am really regretful and pitiful for those people who were arrested and killed. The fact that I also worked in that office. Thank you, Mr. President. I do not have any further Mr. questions for this witness. The President. Now the Chamber would like to give the opportunity to the accused to make observations regarding the testimony of this witness. You are granted an opportunity to make your observation if you choose to do so. The accused, Mr. President. First, I would like to make a minor observation which is useful for the sake of the investigation for the chamber. The question by T. Srina asking about the name, who and how, whether it referred to the same person, and I know this. Ho is the name of Kamrat Ho, and his original name was Kum Wa. One day, he got a travel authorization from my superior, and Sun Sen, instead of writing Ho, he wrote How on that travel authorization. Therefore, in order to honor the superior, then Kamrat Ho maintains the word how. And actually, these two names refer to just one person. So this is to shed light for the chamber to understand and to avoid any further confusion.
Now I would like to give my observations regarding the testimony made by Kamra T or Sooth T. T is actually a member, a staff of S21. I do not demand any other documents to prove that he's a member. I know him. I already told the Cohen Vice Guinness judges that this person was a member of the S21. Also in the organizational chart, the two pages, I also provided the name of this person, T, as administering, administering the list of prisoners at S21. I do not have that uh, statement with me. Je pas ce document avec moi. So this is my clarification on the status of voilà, this donc, witness. Ce dire pour ce qui est Secondly, I would like to make observations regarding his ailleurs, observation, uh, and I would like just to fill in, et in addition to the testimony made by Camera T. First, regarding the escaping prisoner, the escapee from prisoner, I knew the matter. It was the combatant of Division 170 at the time Ho and I went out. It was not long after I became the chairman of S21. So we went to visit a camera's house in order to inquire to get some bags to rest at S21. The prisoner was from Division 170, and he ran back to his division. And at his division, he was arrested, and then they made a call to the general staff, and the general staff ordered S21 to bring him back. So this is a matter on the escaping prisoner. I actually told the co-investigating judges already regarding the escaping prisoner. Also regarding Joy, who was a former S21 staff who successfully escaped, I did not know that. And I was surprised when I heard this during the testimony of this witness. I also would like to add to this testimony that after the prisoner who escaped to his respective unit, I did not arrest anybody for this fault. Only later on, Ho noticed the irregular activity of Poch, who was linked to the network of another person, and then he reported to me, and I reported to my superior, and Sun Sen allowed me to arrest Kamrat Poch, and his name was in the common list of S21. Therefore, the operation of making the arrest of S21 staff, who was originally from 170 or from the city force, were made in my reports to the co-investigating judges as well as to the chamber continuously, so there is no need for me to add any further information. So these are my two points regarding my observations on the testimony. And now I would like to add my observations as a general observation regarding the testimony. His testimony reflects the truth, the foundation of the truth. There were several events that I did not know, and after hearing it, I believed it did happen through his daily work and operation. So that would complement and add to what I 
knew of what happened at S21, so that the chamber as well as the Cambodian people in the country would understand better by the addition of his testimony to the case. Secondly, I appreciate the spirit of Camarade T, who believed in the fair judgment of the chamber by speaking out the truth. His belief that ECCC is the only mechanism to seek out justice for the Cambodian people as a whole, as well as to find justice for the victims who died at S21. I really appreciate his spirit of honesty through the chamber. Of course, I understand the psychological impact on him and the feeling of fear that he had to suffer during the time. I believe that. Also, at the same time, I appreciate his testimony that he, in his role as a middle cadre within S21, although he did not work and contact me directly, as I also did not want many middle cadres to have any contact, direct contact with me, as I was, and I am the top criminal responsible for all the acts committed at S21, responsible for all the lives lost at S21. I am responsible emotionally and legally. So I do not want any middle cadres or any subordinates to suffer in my place. If anybody who are linked or complicated within the S21 network, please remove yourself away. Don't come to me because S21 is a criminal mechanism. And I am committing myself firmly to be responsible solely before the law, also to be emotionally responsible for all the crimes that were committed with my respect, Your Honor. Et ceci respectueusement, Monsieur, Madame les juges. Le président, Mr. Souti, président, Monsieur Souti. The chamber would like to thank you for providing la chambre vous your remercier. testimony and your position. patience during the proceedings. Nous vous sommes reconnaissants de votre patience durant. Yes, you have faced several questions. Votre audition, vous avez en effet. Uh, and that it has occupied one and a half days. We have seen your effort and willingness to provide your true testimony through the accounts. And as reiterated by the observation of the accused to the truthfulness of your testimony, the Chamber really appreciates your time here. You can now return to your residence. And the court officer, please make necessary arrangement to have the witness returned safely to his residence by working in cooperation with the VISU unit. Another witness, KW15, which is on standby for today's hearing, Please make necessary arrangement for him to return to his residence as well. Je à lui de and he shall be invited to the chamber again on Monday next week at 9 a.m. in order for him to provide his matin. testimony to the chamber. Mr. President, next, the chamber will continue the proceeding.
we will have the statements read out the statements which were made by the witnesses the first testimony to be read out is from the witness D28-7 in Khmer, the EAN is 00 and in English it's 00 in French 0016508 The graphier can say call what he you are instructed to read out the testimony of this witness, Mih Pengkri. Deposition. It's about the deposition of Mih Pengkri. Office of the Co-Investigating Judges, Criminal Case File 002. A numéro de dossier 002. Investigation number 001-18-07-2007, written record of interview of witness. The year 2007, the month of November, the 29th day, at 2.30 p.m., at Jai Thom Village, Sampaloon, South District, Kof Thom District, Kandal Province. I, Moon Im, an investigator of the extraordinary chambers having been assigned by the erogatory letter of the co-investigating judges dated 21 November 2007, having seen the law on the establishment of the extraordinary chambers dated 27 October 2004, Having seen rules 24, 28, and 60 of the internal rules of the extraordinary chambers, have recorded the statements of Mi Pengri, a witness, who provided the following information regarding his personal identity. Last name, Mi, first name, Pengri, revolutionary name, Mi Kri, born in 1955. This person declared that he could read, write, and understand the Khmer language. The person also declares that he could not read and write any other languages. Therefore, the original of this written record is written in the Khmer language. We advise this person that taking of this statement is being audio or video recorded. This person told us that he had no relationship with the charged persons and civil parties. This person also to an oath in accordance with the provisions of Rule 24 of the Internal Rules of the Extraordinary Chambers. We notified this person of the right against self-incrimination in accordance with the provisions of Rule 28 of the Internal Rules of the Extraordinary Chambers. Questions answered. Moon Im, question. First, can you please describe your personal history from the beginning? Response. I studied up to grade 11 at Wat Kampong Sambu. At the time of the coup, there were no more teachers, so I quit school and farmed until 1973. When I joined the District 18, Gotham Army. I had been a soldier in the district army for nearly one year. When they sent me to the 12th division of the special zone army, which had Tanat and Tappan as the division chairman, I was a combatant there. Questioned. After 17 April 1975, where did you work? Response. After the attack and fall of Phnom Penh, I went to the Khmer for about three or four months. After that, they selected me to study driving 
des 730 division vehicles in Phnom Penh in the vicinity of Wat Gok. Question, how many months did you study driving? Response, two to three months, because the studies were not regular. There were 12 of us studying. At first, I studied driving small vehicles, and when I had learned that, they had me study driving large vehicles. Question, did you study engine repair? Respond, no, I just knew how to patch tires and do little things. Question, after you studied, where did they send you? Response, after I learned how to drive, they sent me to drive for the general staff and the former Lonol general staff. My work driving then was driving to gather up and transport the documents that remained from the Lonol regime and take them to be disposed of. Question. What year did you join S21? Response. It was approximately 1976 when they selected me to go to Dulles Lane. I was still a driver. Question. Who assigned you to S21? Response. A unit of the general staff assigned me to go to S21. When I went to work with Hum Hoi, he was a team chairman. Question. What did you transport when you drove at S21? Respond. While I was there, I drove and transported mixed cargo, prisoners, wood to make buildings, and vegetables. I only drove few prisoners, not many. Question. Did you drive prisoners in or out? Response. Once I drove two prisoners from the independent monument to Douslay, and I drove one prisoner from Batambon to Douslay, I only drove prisoners in two times. I was with Hamhoi at that time. All those prisoners had already been arrested. I only transported them to Douslay. Question. What was the condition of the prisoners you transported? Response. Their arms were tied behind their backs and they were blindfolded. Questioned. When you went to get the prisoners, were there written orders to go? Response. I did not know. I just knew about the driving. Question. When you arrived with the prisoners, did you drive them straight inside to Slang? Response. I drove them to the entrance and the guards took the prisoners inside the prison. Question. Question. Did you ever draw dry prisoners out of Tuotslang? Response. I drove prisoners out once or twice as well. I drove them to Bang Tieng Eik. When I drove them, it was at night. Question. What vehicle did you use then to transport the prisoners? Response. I used a Land Rover. That vehicle had a covered cabin. The prisoners I transported out were from four to six in number. Question. When you transported prisoners out, what condition were they in? Response, all the prisoners were blindfolded and they had their arms tied behind their backs. Upon arrival at Jung Age, they had a team of their own there waiting to receive those prisoners. After they dragged the prisoners down from the vehicle and put them in a wooden house there, I returned. Question, did you wait until they had killed the prisoners before you returned? Uh, Response, no. When all the prisoners were unloaded from the vehicle, we, the guard who came with the vehicle and I, returned to Tulslang. Question. Did you know the team chairman at Chiang A? Response. I never knew him. In that era, we worked separately. Even when we ate, we ate separately. Question. Aside from prisoners, what else did you transport? Response. Two or three times I transported wood to build houses at Jung That was before the prisoners were taken to be killed there. Question. When you transported prisoners out, what instructions did they give you? Uh, response. They never gave any instructions. They just told me, transport the prisoners to Bang Tien A and be vigilant, camera. Question. Did you ever drive Dodge anywhere? 
Question. Response. No. Avez-vous jamais conduit Question. quelque part Did you ever no. meet Dutch? Response. Question. I met him euh, when Dutch called euh, us to study or through meetings je south je of his house. Question. When you threw prisoners to jail, uh, uh, did you ever hear the prisoners scream maison. or cry? Question. Pendant le transport des prisonniers à Chennai, Response. I never heard anything. The prisoners were all emaciated, and on the other hand, there was a guard who rode along in a vehicle with the prisoners. Question. Did you do anything else other than transport? Response. I grew vegetables and raised pigs near the sewer ditch. Question. When did they send you to prison? Response. Later on, probably during 1977, I overturned a vehicle. They sent me to stay with Tahoe at Prison. Question. What did they have you do at Prison? Question. Response. They had me make petty dice, dig canals, transplant the rice. After I had been there a long time, they trusted me and they had me drive a GMC vehicle. Question. Was working the rice field at Preso easy? Response. Working the rice fields there was done according to very strict plans. They had me get up at four and work until eleven before eating a little lunch and then work on until at 6 in the afternoon. We uh, ate at 7 in the evening. Working the rice fields was done following a set plan, so we had to keep up with the plan. At times, I did additional work at night. Question, how was the food? Response, they provided two meals at Preso, one at noon and one in the evening, but it was insufficient because I did a lot of labor. Question. As far as you knew, were there many sick people at Preso? Response. There were, but they had medics to provide treatment. Question. Did Dutch ever go to Preso? Response, mm. I never saw him. There were just Nun Hui at the rice fields. He was in charge there. Question, how long were you at Preso? Response, I was there until Phnom Penh fell in 1979. Question, do you have anything you would like to add? Response, no. If the ECCC has the need to question you again, Please cooperate. This task was completed at 4 p.m. on the same date. One copy of the written statement was provided to this witness. After it was read aloud, the witness had no objections and agreed to sign or impress some print. Ayant lu à l'intention du témoin qui n'a pas eu d'objection et qui a accepté d'appliquer l'empreinte digitale. The President, please finish the last bits of the statement, the name and the signature. Witness, Mi Bang Kri, investigator, Ngun Im, said the graph here. Mi Bang Kri. The accused, says the President, regarding the testimony of the witness Mir Pankri, as read out by the Graffi Sankorvati, do you have any observation to make regarding this statement? I notice the presence of the defense counsel. You may proceed. Kassavut, Mr. President, with your leave, would you allow the graphier to read the declaration made by Mir Pankri at the reenactment at Tulsa Slain? And after that, I would like the accused to make his observation. The President, the graph here, do you have that statement? The President, have you this other declaration? Which document are you referring, referring to, uh, Defense Council? Can you provide the EN number of the document? Kassavut, it's D48-1.
Can you check the document D48-1? Peut-on vérifier le document D48-1? Demande le Président. The president, uh, the cry here, can you read the document on screen or you need to have it printed out? Lire ce document à l'écran ou avez-vous besoin d'un exemplaire papier? The President, the graph here, you may start to read that statement. The President, graph here, you may start to read that Office of the Co-Investigating Judges, Criminal Case File Number 002-14-08-2006, Investigation Number 001-18-07-2007, Report of Reconstruction. In the year 2008, 26 February at 8 a.m., noting the investigation opened against Kang Gat Yu alias Dutch charged with crimes against humanity and grave breaches of the Geneva Conventions of 12 August 1949, crimes defined and punishable under Rules 5, 6, 29 new and 39 new of the law on the establishment of the extraordinary chambers dated 27 October 2004. Noting rules 55.8 of the internal rules of the extraordinary chambers. Noting the other non, the transport dated 21 February 2008. We, Yu Bun Lei and Master Le Mong, co-investigating judges of the Extraordinary Chambers in the Courts of Cambodia, assisted by Mr. Hom Hel and Mr. Li Chantula, the graphiers, and by Mr. Tan Hing Dawan and Mr. Ujanura, who are sworn interpreters of the Extraordinary Chambers, made an on-site visit to the Jiang Ai Memorial, 15 kilometers to the southwest of Phnom Penh in Kondal province. At Jiang Ai, we were joined by Ms. Chia Liang and Mr. Robert Petit, co-prosecutors of the Extraordinary Chambers, Kang Gek Il, alias Deutsch, assisted by his lawyers, Mr. Kassawood and Mr. Francois Roux, Witnesses, Mit Peng Kri, um, expert Zoran Lessig, designated by means of the Odinong, dated 12 February 2008, was also in attendance for the purpose of his report. The President, uh, what's wrong with you? Could you please proceed further? Uh, 
The president, please hold on. The President, uh, the Chamber would like to inform the parties to the proceedings and the public that uh, the document which was being read out uh, by our greffier is related to the other witnesses to testify or the, uh, the witnesses that are protected. Uh, before they are testifying before the chamber. Therefore, the document as requested by the Defense Council to be read out by the greffier of the chamber will have to be stopped now because as shared jeweled, 
the chamber has been planned uh, to only read uh, the testimony of three witnesses and in relation to the ground of the protective measures and the concealment of the identities of the yet to be testifying witnesses and that their names have not been distorted or de uh, deducted Et que leur nom pas été the chamber would like to postpone the, the reading of the testimony of this witness now du document. the reading of the testimonies of other witnesses will be scheduled uh, to a later date uh, so today the chamber will take the adjournment uh, by now and uh, the session will be resumed on the 3rd of August 2009 from 9 a.m. The security personnel are now instructed to take the accused to the detention facility and call him to the courtroom by 9 a.m. on the 3rd of August 2009. The court is adjourned. All rise.